Good evening. I'm happy and excited to be with you here this evening. One of our greatest prophets, Isaiah, made, made his prophecy 2,700 years ago. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Jerusalem is no ordinary city. It is the only city in the world that is holy to three major religions. Thus, I believe this is the time to strengthen the links between Jerusalem, the state of Israel, the Jewish people, and the entire world. This is the time to make these links more meaningful, mainly as a path towards fulfilling the vision of doing good. My vision, the vision of doing good, is simple. And I believe with all my heart that it is a vision in which we can all connect and contribute. We only need the faith that through doing good things, choosing good words, good feelings and deeds, we can strengthen and multiply the good in the world. The Jewish tradition can be summarized simply in these words, love your neighbor as yourself. Most of us feel the change, shedding old patterns, liberating ourselves from the old, and shifting into the new. 2012 is a critical year for humanity, a turning point. The potential for this transition springs from the fact that we are all longing for positive change. But for this change to take place, we need a critical mass of people who are motivated by good, by good energy and a good, genuine desire for positive change. If a huge number of people start to think good, speak good, and do good, it will bring goodness into the world. As I see it, the change must be expressed by creating a new reality, a reality in which the dominant concepts the ones that direct our thoughts and our deeds change. A new reality of unity, love, friendship, brotherhood, and compassion. But first we need the ability to accept ourselves and at the same time accept others, their differences, their unique, uniquenesses, and the fact that we are all human beings. We are all part of humanity. We are all one. The Jewish tradition gave the world the eternal value called tikkun olam, repairing the world, which means the obligation impo imposed on every Jew to strive to make the world in which we live, the world we will leave to our descendants, better than the world into which we were born. Within the idea of tikkun olam are basic values such as mutual responsibility for one another and the obligation to help those who are in need. I believe that if we all connect with the vision of doing good, it will serve as a way of fulfilling tikkun olam and will move us closer to the vision of the Jewish people and the state of Israel becoming a light onto nations. I once heard Shimon Peres, the president of Israel, who will be speaking to you in a moment, say, governments have borders, businesses have no borders. Through business and philanthropy, we touch the lives of people, bring about change, and generate real returns in our both human environment and our natural environment. We work towards creating a better place for all of humanity. We can do good and bring good into the entire world. The Ted Arison Family Foundation, which is headed my, by my son, Jason Arison, the third generation to lead the foundation, works to do good in society and in the community. We are continuing our decades-long family tradition of giving and listening to the needs of the community with the aim of leading a transformation of the social environment. Each generation has its own viewpoint and its own uniqueness, and it's very important to remember where we came from and what our tradition is, to recall our values and our history, but it is no less important to allow the next generation to take the reins and lead the organization to an up-to-date place, a place that's firmly connected to the here and now and to the future. A generation that's connected to itself because if every person and every organization is connected with their own essence, it will enable true flourishing and growth. 
About six years ago, I initiated Good Deeds Day in Israel through Ruach Tova, Good Spirit, an organization that works under the Family Foundation. All that's required to take part in Good, Good Deeds Day is goodwill and the recognition that even smiling at another person is a good deed. Good Deeds Day, which took place today in Israel and will take place on Sunday in the rest of the world, has gained tremendous momentum and has spread to dozens more countries through the cooperation of the Jewish Federations, Global MTV, and other partners that help to turn Good Deeds Day into the Global Day of Giving. You, each and every one of you, who already do so much for the community, society, and the world, together we can create a critical mass that will bring about essential change in the world for ourselves, and the generations to come. One last thing before I ask President Perez to the stage. When I speak of a critical mass of goodness, now's the time. With tension in the South, the Iranian threat, and the tragedy in France, now is the time that anyone who believes in God, who believes in a higher power, or just has a pure intent in his or her heart, asks, Ask for peace, ask for love, ask for protection, ask for unity. Ask that our unity of goodness will fight off all evil. Together, we can create a critical mass of good energy in our minds and in our hearts. I now have the honor and the pleasure of inviting to the stage a leader, a visionary, a man of peace who is admired throughout the world, a man who has dedicated his entire life and his numerous talents to contributing to society, a man who is invaluable to the state of Israel and the Jewish people, and a man whom I appreciate and admire, the President of the State of Israel, Mr. Shimon Peres. <laughs> 